Is MGTOW growing? The answer to that is yes. The red pills thing is part and parcel of that. I would say a lot more people are waking up to reality and I know MGTOW is focused a lot on um, the, the divorces and their legal systems and everything else. But I find that you're seeing a lot more expand out. Things like the Brexit is getting people to question the society they're living in. Things like Trump and the way the social media has manipulated things there. And even with Trump, you start to question who funded Trump to get into power. The, the point is, a lot more people are waking up to the world. They're not just accepting things as they are. Um, and there was a funny thing the other day when I was... My wife asked me if I wanted a cup of tea. Um, I said, yeah, and she brought it in. And I sat there drinking it. I thought, this is, yeah, it's good tea. It's, it was actually the mint leaves out of the garden. Way stronger and better tasting than you'll get in a tea bag. Point being is, I would have normally just gone in the cupboard and got it. Yeah, we have this stuff sat in our garden. There's at least five varieties of mint alone. But then you look at the homo homotherapy stuff and other things, and there's a lot of things that work really well that aren't really pushed, or in fact they're told they might be bad for you, they may kill you, they may harm you, um, because you don't grow them in your garden. Reality is, it's because there's no tax on it, there is no pharmaceutical company making money on it. Reality is, you can do a lot of this stuff yourself. Society today, is withdrawing your independence in so many ways. Vention does pretty well with sustainability and stuff. You can see he's doing a lot of stuff. It keeps him occupied, keeps him busy, but also it's producing stuff for himself and also shows the value and the ability of producing food for yourself. Um, but I just want to extend that because obviously you can do it with herbs, you can do it with stuff related to health. health. Um, and also when I looked at branding i was saying about this because it all got it all sort of come together the other day i lived in hong kong years ago and i think for the most expensive pair of trainers in hong kong you could get for ten dollars ten hong kong dollars um this is back in the 80s the point being is you're buying a brand which is a a logo and nothing more these days it's not quality you can get a pair of cheap trainers from Lidl that aren't much better as, or worse than a pair of trainers that's costing four or five times the amount um, just because it's got a logo on it. That's not quality to me. Uh, sorry, that's not branding to me. Quality is tied to branding for me. Um, but I find that a lot of like electronics have gone that route. They've moved up too many factories into into various places and removed the quality. It's all gone quantity. But it was funny with the trainers or sneakers, you call them in the US. The there's a pair of trainers there, the Kardashians and some of their other minions wear or whatever. Uh, they're a thousand dollars. And obviously they're a thousand dollars because they pay those people that money for some unknown reason. Um, but the point being is, this guy's walk along the beach here, and they'll sell you a pair of trainers for twenty euros. And a couple of kids got these trainers, and their parents thought, "Well, we'll have a look. We'll have a look on the internet, see how much these trainers are worth." Thousand dollars. So the guy on the beach here sells them for twenty, and to, in the US and online, they're a thousand dollars. More for you. Um, this is stuff I do recognize. Now, don't get me wrong. I do go to places like Savile Row when I get got enough cash and the opportunity, because um, I like my shirts and stuff from there, and I like my suits tailored there. But they're built on reputation. They're built on quality. They're not built on logos. In fact, most people don't even recognize the, the logos of that because there aren't any. Because it's it's a style of cut, it's a material, it's it's about the actual clothing. It's not about the logos. Logos aren't relevant. And I do think if you're serious about red pill and a bit more sustainability and more independence, unlock that stuff. Start moving away from branding, as in a logo. And if you want to buy branding, buy it because it's quality. Thanks for watching.